Welcome everyone, today we'll have a special Genshin Impact News Digest, and in this video we'll have a look at all the latest web event which my, some of you might have noticed and some of you might have not noticed. So I want to go through this information digest about all the latest events and about how many primal gems we can get from each of those events. And for some of the events you want to join now, because within uh, maybe a few hours from today the video is posted, those events will come to a finishing with entry level, and then you can get the primal gems. So I'm going to go through all of those events with you guys, and because those were not revealed in the game, I was checking the special event and I realized those are actually not given in the game. So I want to give you guys an update video of all those events for 2022. So there's three web events to have a look, and we can get 30 Primal Gems, 40 Primal Gems, and also a chance to win 200 Primal Gems. And because some of those events will have a different date. So for example, for this one, this will end on the 3rd of January by the midnight time. So I want to give you guys updates so you don't miss out any of those events, because there's a chance to win 200 Primal Gems on this particular event. Now, on the second part of this video, we'll also have a look at some of the interesting and also useful guide that is shared by the community about what are the rotations for daily domain dungeons, with a more visual perspective so we can see different days and how to farm for those characters and also items. We'll also have a look at how to break shields with regards to certain enemies, because we know we'll be fighting new monsters in patch 2.4, so I want to use this particular guide as a reminder for you guys on how to defeat new enemies and how which element work the best countering each other. So let's go through this one as well on the second part. Now coming over to our first part of the video, I'm sure some of you know that within the game there's a button called Special Event, and usually this one gives you the web event that is coming in the game and you can participate. And because I was busy with New Year's and I noticed there's a lot of web event in 2021, end of the year, and also by 2022. So what I noticed is, in the game this is not revealed to the players, and I want to make a special video to inform you guys of the upcoming events, and also in case you missed any, we want to have a look at it. So we'll go by the three web event, by the amount of primal gems, and also by the deadline of the event. So the first one is a lottery event, <laughs> patch 2.3 commendatory lottery event. So for this particular event, what you want to have a look at is, there's a chance to win 200 primal gems with 100 players. I know it's not much guys, and I know you know it's a lottery event, we don't like those, but hey, it's a chance to win 200 primal gems, why don't we try it out, right? So how does this event works is, you have to screenshot one of those characters, you take a screenshot on the screen, and then they want you to post this one on the social media for Twitter, and you have to have the hashtag for this one, hashtag Gatching Impact Lottery Event, and this will give you the chance to participate in this event. You can post on Twitter, you can post on Facebook as well. So they really want you to post this on public as a publicity, and this is like a free promotion for them. So the chance for this is make sure you follow the participation with hashtags, and then you can have a chance to win 200 promo gems. I know it's kind of silly, guys. It's a chance to win, not a guarantee for 200 primal gems. But the biggest highlight is this event has started, you know, right bef after Christmas, and this has been ongoing throughout the new year for 2022. And I want to notice you guys, in case you haven't noticed of this one, it is free to participate, and we still have a few hours to get into this event because this is the latest one with the highest primal gem reward. So I want to give you guys a video on this one first. Now coming over to the second event. This was just posted before the New Year countdown, so this was posted for the the King in the Cloud event for Shenhe. And for this break event, oh, that page is not refreshed. So for this break event, you have to come in and log in into the particular web page. And I know it's not revealed in the game, it's kind of silly, right? So many web events. So for this event, you go through this and you know have different writings, different little posters. And over here, we can see a Reddit post over here by Daniel showing all the little posters of Shenhe. Now by participating in this event, this web event still have a bit of time for us. So this is not the one that's like ending soon. So this one we still, I do believe we still have about one to two days. And this web event, the second web event, will provide 40 primal gems upon completion of this web event. And you can see over here, it talks about getting more primal gems. Yeah, the primal gems 40, this is guaranteed primal gems, and character essential materials and also in-game rewards. So this is a free web event. You do want to participate the event as quickly as you can because you have to do a few tasks. The event will end by the midnight of 4th of January. So this is the second event for 40 primal gems. I know, right? I'm collecting all the web events. Usually I make one of them as we go, but usually I see that it's revealed in the game. I think you guys already see it, so I didn't make a video. But I'm during the busy of New Year's, and you know, I didn't get to check all the events, so I want to make a video for you guys. So coming over to the third web event. 
Now this web event is also recently posted, and this again was not given to the players with in the game, so I'm not sure if you guys have noticed this, so I want to share this with you guys. Oh, by the way, talking about the previous event, if you share the event over here, you don't have to share actually, you just click on share, and after you click it, you can cancel it. So what you do is, on the previous, the second event we talked about, if you share the event, you also get 20,000 Mora. I forgot to tell you guys about that. So you know, it's freebies, right? 20,000 Mora, it's not much, but make sure you take it. So coming back to the third event, the third event is a participation event. Again, this one does not, it's not random. And this one requires a lot of players to participate. So more of us know about this. If you share about this video and share about the event, the more chances us to get more reward. So this event is the one with the longest time frame. We have up to the 9th of January for 2022 and by midnight to get as many players to participate this event. And if we get up to 1 million players participating, we can get 30 promo gems. Hooray! I know. Again, it is not much, but I want to find you guys as many free promo gems as we can for the New Year's and also for the new banners. So the benchmark or the threshold milestone is going to be 300,000, 600,000 and 1 million players to participate this event. And the rewards will include a gold slash times 3, 20,000 Mora and also 30 Primal Gems. So make sure you guys do participate this one because they also have a limited quantity. So only 3 million players can get those rewards. I know it's so bizarre, I don't know who came up with this one. but. There we go, 33 promo gems, right? So how you want to count is the first event is the one you want to join the quickest because you only have a few hours by the deadline. Sorry for posting this one a little later because I thought everyone knew about this. So I was like, wait, no one knew about this because it was not revealed in the game. So the first one is a chance to win 200 promo gems. The second one is a guarantee for 40 promo gems. The third one, also 20,000 Mora if you share. And the third one is a guarantee for 30 Primal Gems and also 200,000 Mora and also three Gold Stash. So those are the summaries of three of the 2022 event and the deadlines for those are very soon. So make sure you guys participate on those one and get some free Primal Gems before patch 2.4. Now on the topic of new events, it was also Zoni's birthday a while ago and the Chinese website actually have another participation event to give some statues of Zongli. Unfortunately, oh, there's, also, there's also some patches. Unfortunately, this is only for the Chinese players, so it's not for the English global server. That's why I didn't post about this one. It looks pretty cool, right? So if in the future, if we do get English merchandise, I'll let you know as well. So now, let's come into the second part of the video. I do want to prepare you guys a little bit for the new characters and also existing characters for the domain. So to think about those, I was thinking about to farm items for characters and also fighting different enemies. So the first guide is coming from Alien Creature, Alien Creature over here, and he was posting a visualized domain rotation guide. I'm sure most of you have memorized this by now, and with the new adjustment for patch 2.4, you can directly click the items you want and go to the domains. But in case you are preparing for certain characters, here are the domains, and also here are the visualized character images of which character for which of the days which is quite interesting and quite useful, right? So I'll have the link available for you guys so you can look into those characters for the Inazuma characters and prepare for those characters and also existing characters. Now on the second part of the guide <laughs> information digest, we also have a post guide for Aru Katazi over here. So this is again coming back to defeating enemies. And the post also talk about why electro characters are a little useless. We'll go more in details about how can we get a buff for Electro characters because there's a new character called Yam Miko who is an Electro character. So we talk about how weak and how seemingly like a little weaker Electro characters are compared to, you know, Quayo, Hyjo and also Pyo. So this particular guide, what you want to focus on uh, for me is the second part, how to defeat enemies with a certain type of shield. For example, if you want to defeat an enemy with a pile, a Quayle shield, you can use a pile character, which works very well. And if you want to defeat an enemy with a Hydro shield, you can use Quayle or Electro. But the Electro depleting the shield is a little slower than Quayle. Quayle attacks also defeats the Electro shield. So notice how this is saying that Quayle supremacy. So basically, if you have a Quayle character, which could be Shenhe, could be Ganyu, could be Ayaka, or even someone like Chongyang to deal Quayle damage, you actually have more chance to break the Hydro Shield and also Electro Shield. So upon defeating different characters and fighting different characters, you do want to have an elemental counter to break the shield. So why is that you might be asking? Because if you guys know, there is a new Pyro Abyssal Lactor 
and he will be shooting you know pile balls and he will probably have a pile shield so in order to defeat this pile monster what i recommend is to have a hydro damage dealer maybe like child or maybe even barbara someone that deals hydro damage it doesn't have to be high damage it just consistently debuff enemy with hydro and this will help you faster to break the shield because those are the most effective ways the geo is kind of a little awkward right the geo is like explosion so the geo uh it's like uh, the element is like well we're not sure how good that is but those are the rotation for elements to break the shield now he did talk about the electrical breaking the shield with superconduct i do believe it's a superconduct uh electrical charge yeah, it's electrical charge the ticks for electrical charge is a little slower to break the hydro shield so it's ideally to have a cryo character and also hydro character and also pyro character so those three characters tend to break shield quicker and hopefully this helps you guys to prepare a little bit for the patch 2.4 content and we'll make a countdown video very soon so those are the rotations of the farms and also those will help you to defeat new monsters because i'm sure this electro and also this other elements of the lizards <laughs> of the paramount visups in the game so those will help you a little bit in preparing your team for patch 2.4 with the mazes and also underground palace now hopefully you guys found this video helpful i did group all the web events together because i realized there's a lot of them and some of you might have missed one or two if you have seen one or two you know that's good you're on top of the three primal gems but if you have seen all three of them best of luck with winning the 200 primal gems and make sure you grab the remaining 70 primal gems as you go because you know this new year is everyone's doing everything so make sure you grab some free leaves before patch 2.4 and best of luck to everyone in patch 2.4 in getting your characters and also saving for new banners now if you found this video helpful make sure you subscribe and also turn the little bell on for the latest news i'll be looking towards to make more builds guides tips and news and event updates for us as we come further into the game and as always i wish you guys the best of luck with catching and have the most fun in exploring this wonderful world